Hi everybody, welcome to your June general and love readings for 2017. And I wanted to start off, of course, by wishing Gemini's a happy birthday. So enjoy celebrating you in this next month. And a quick note about these readings, I'm really going to focus on just the main messages that stand out. Uh, because these videos can go on for quite a long time. Obviously, there's a lot of messages that come through. So if these do not resonate and they won't resonate with everybody, make sure you watch your moon and or rising sign. And of course, if you would like a private reading with me, you can reach me at my website, Moonwater. Tarot.com. And also, I did just open up my shop and I have my artwork there. I'm selling prints right now, but I will be adding original pieces and other items to my shop. So check that out. All right, well, let's get started with your readings. All right, thanks for watching. Bye. Hi Leo, this is your June reading. It's general in love for 2017. I am shooting this, uh, well, I think it's, it was May 22nd. I think it's like three in the morning or something here. So technically it's the 23rd. So these energies may already be happening like in May. Uh, since we are still in May. So I'm going to ask the most important messages. What are the most important messages for Leo, for those that are watching? Okay, through now to June 30th, 2017. What will help them? What are the messages? Okay. So let's take a look, Leo. Okay. I have the two of pentacles. Let me make sure you can see that. The Eight of Swords. Wow, another two. The Two of Wands. The World. And the Knight of Swords. Okay. So... Let me make sure that, uh, yeah, it's not going. There we go. Okay, so, Leo, we have the world here as our major arcana. So, I want to say, this is what I'm feeling. I feel like Capricorn may be of significance. You're being led to, let's see, 24. Four, wow, so many things. There's something about movement or lack thereof. Uh, so, okay, uh, before I lose my train of thought, so Capricorn is of importance, but I also, with this core card, the Knight of Swords, I feel like Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra may be of importance. Now, I'm also getting that with these two twos, balance is going to be very important for you in June. And I feel like, you know, it's interesting when I look at these cards and we've got the two pentacles here and I feel like a yo-yo, like things are going up and down, up and down, they're, they're fluctuating. And then we've got this eight of swords as if, you may not be seeing what's going on. 
Then we have the two of wands. And so the two twos do represent for me that there can be some dualities. There's a decision that you are going to be making in June. Uh, could also definitely be when I get balance or the number two, sometimes I see it as an 11, which means justice or legalities are being worked out. But you definitely have a choice to make. And I think that some of you are very much kind of stuck, like not knowing what direction to go in. I feel like there's something about time or timing is of importance. There may be a fluctuation also in the workplace because we do have um, this to me reminds me of health issues, but also workplace issues and even money issues. And I kind of feel like Almost as if maybe you are so busy dealing with uh, these decision makings or, you know, like trying to do two things at once or juggling two things at once that you're not quite seeing what else is going around. Or there's a need to, you know, it could also be that these indecisions or having to make a decision, but I feel like you're being pulled, uh, may be making it difficult in terms of um, it just becomes so overwhelming that you choose not to see. Or you're feeling stuck because this can represent self-imprisonment in some aspect. I feel like for some of you, this may be a situation where maybe you're feeling uh, that you have to stay in this position, even though it's volatile or it's topsy-turvy, because even though... Uh, it's volatile or upside down, you're still able to handle it. It's not like this is in reverse. But it has some kind of negative effect on you, I feel, or the way that you see things or the, the way you don't see things, the way you think about things or the way you think about yourself or the way you think about your, um, if you have a partner because I feel like you've got two decisions to make. And this may be also indicative of a move or travel. Like you may want to move. You may want to travel. You may want to expand. And, um, and this is looking out to the future also. Like looking at how you're progressing. This is also, I feel, you know, oftentimes this reminds me of Christopher Columbus. It's like my Christopher Columbus card, discovering the world is round. Feel like you are learning or discovering something in, um, in June or that you have a decision to make. It may be that there's news coming in that's going to affect you or, and it's fast moving news. Like it's coming in very quickly. Um, now I do want to say this because I do feel with the world that it's the end of the major arcana. And so this for me is completion. This is also like you have accomplished something. But I feel as if balance is going to be important that even though that you've accomplished something, don't get 
Don't become hasty with your actions or with your communication. Or maybe you are communicating, and this could be with a male or female, like I said, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, um, on purpose. Like you're, you're isolating yourself on purpose. But I feel like, you know, with this sword, as soon as, you, as you've accomplished something, this person, if it is a person um, that you may be aware of, it could be somebody that you're in a relationship, it may be that you have to make a decision. A decision is coming down either for you or you're making the decision. But I feel like this person can be quite either or impulsive, could be compulsive since that came out of my mouth. Mouth. Um, they're very, um, I feel like maybe this is you and you've got yourself kind of in a bubble and almost as if this person wants to kind of deflate you. Like they could, whatever you've worked for, just be careful because I feel that there's an energy now, this could also, even though you're not an air sign, um, the, uh, and I don't feel it so much this way, but this could be uh, your own hastiness or impulsiveness. Oh my gosh, something just flew there. I don't know what that is. It just, maybe it's a baby moth. How interesting. Okay, well, what this is what I was going to say was be careful of sabotage or self-sabotage. And with that moth, what's that song? Janet Jackson, moth to a flame, burn like a fire. I, there's something about that. Getting too, like, don't fight fire with fire or don't play with fire. Uh, don't create volatility where it doesn't have to be. I really though am picking this up more as this is somebody else. That maybe you are closing up someone or something from your past and yet either your thoughts aren't allowing you to let go of it or this person is going to be returning because I feel like they're 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 angry that you have wrapped things up or put closure to something that maybe they didn't want you to that's how this is uh, coming across to me. Because I feel like this person, you know, you, 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 so I, I just feel like it's important to kind of open your eyes and to see where you're going because it's maybe your thoughts or the thoughts, the negative thoughts coming from somebody else that are affecting you and you're feeling stuck like this. When, you know, you can, I feel, uh, there's something about, you know, it's really interesting. There's something about the feet. Just focused on the feet one foot or one step at a time take things slowly so okay another message that i'm getting is you may be there may be a decision in terms of love it could be that there may be um you know you have met somebody uh, Leo, you're the wands, you're the fire, and you may have to pick between, it's you here, between two people, could be somebody from the past, and you're meeting somebody in the future. I also hear that you may be communicating all the way on the other side of the world. 
like online or through, I don't know, the World Wide Web, um, you know, through some website. It doesn't have to be a dating website. It could even be like Facebook or LinkedIn or, I don't know, Twitter, Snapchat, whatever. And there's a rush. Like this person wants to meet you very quickly. And I'm being led to say like, um, get balanced, find a balance between some impulsiveness. Like, um, I know it's difficult, especially if somebody's clear across the other side of the world. Um, but I am also being guided to listen to your intuition. Because I don't really like this. Now, you know, a sense of urgency can be a positive thing. But there's, there's news coming in. I wonder if there's also possibly, oftentimes the world, I, I kind of feel like um, there may be news or an announcement of... Um, I, I'm getting some kind of like pregnancy. Maybe this is that somebody thought that they would be, you know, delivering. I feel like uh, through a midwife or something and maybe there's, uh, you know, it ends up being a C-section or something like that. Something that happens. But... Um, Hmm. Let me just see this here. Because there's different images that are coming through. I'm getting like, don't get yourself boxed in. Have, especially with this world being the end of, of, of the cycle, you may have just ended a relationship and I feel like, I, I think somebody's trying to return. You know, they don't want to let you go. And, uh, but I just feel like, you know, look to the future. Don't hang on to the past. You know, and I'm not saying don't look at the past. But once you've looked at it and kind of sorted out, what worked, what didn't work, uh, why didn't it work, or what do I need to wrap up so that, you know, you can move on. There may be somebody that you need to move away from quickly, and you're feeling like a prisoner. So that's, you know, every card, I always say, has its positives and its negatives, I also feel that there's an urgency. I feel like somebody's trying to launch an idea or they're wanting to possibly um, get out of a situation. So this could be your energy of you wanting to get out of something that you're feeling is too imbalanced, too up and down, and that you're stuck in and, and you want to find your way out of this. And I do feel like you, for the most part, will. The more that you can plan to progress, to look to your future, um, what is that? There's like a plan to succeed and plan to fail. Don't allow your past or past negative thinking to keep you boxed in or someone else's beliefs to affect you in a negative way. Because, you know, a lot of people have opinions. And this can be somebody that's very critical, very opinionated. Um, and just because they may have a, an opinion or be critical, 
and believe something doesn't make it true. That's, that's, that's on them. So they may be, you know, I just want to caution you that there's something that you need to see. And maybe you need to see it for yourself. And so you are going on a trip or you're going to travel or you're going to find a way to release yourself. So whatever isn't completed does get completed. There's victory. But I just want to be, let you be aware that if this is self-sabotage or somebody that you know that has been sabotaging you, that they there's the possibility of them coming back because I feel like they're not happy about you moving on. So, for example, these twos can represent maybe there's an Aries and a Sagittarius or another Leo um, versus, you know, um, um, a Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus because this is Capricorn also. But, um, so you, now this may represent you and you are dealing with a Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. Someone new, you're looking to the future regarding love or regarding a move or a, how do I get stuck out of this job that I'm not happy with? Um, but something is going to wrap up, but just be cautious of this energy if this, person or has come in in the past before because I feel like there's somebody that and this does not have to be romance this could be a male female brother sister a friend a boss a co-worker um, a neighbor I mean somebody that just wants to not see you victorious or to I, I just see this kind of as like a balloon and somebody just wants to like prick that you know they just want to deflate your success your victory or they want to pick at these you know red ties because with a sword it can easily unravel so, but there are some major decisions that some of you are making. And I get something about shelter or seeking shelter. So I'm hearing that song, Riding the Storm Out. So some of you may be in like a closure or hiding for a purpose. And some of you, I, I'm seeing this almost as like weather. Now they're showing me this as like almost like a tornado or some kind of um, near the water. What's that called? A uh, hurricane or whir whirlpool or whirl? I don't know. Something's a whirlwind. So uh, there may be a change in weather depending on, you know, where you're at. But I, I do feel that there is going to be fast, something fast moving. And like I said, this could be you needing to get out of a situation um, or somebody coming in or something coming in, a force of energy. And it could be that something is trying to tell you it's time to go, it's time to move, it's time to move on away from this. So you can close the chapter, you can put an end to the cha this chapter in your life and you have a free new beginning because what's next is the fool. It's like starting fresh, taking chances, going on a journey, you're starting a new journey, a new risk. And it can be, it can be indefinitely in work, looking for a job with more money, getting a transfer, moving away from a person, ending a relationship, beginning a new love relationship. 
So I feel that there's some victory. You may need to move fast for this victory. This may even be a, a race. Like someone's racing against time. Time is of the essence. Uh, this may even be something about a horse race that someone's attending or they're racing horses because now I'm seeing this as a wreath going around a horse's. Sorry about that, Leo. My um, camera got filled, so it automatically shut off. But I'm seeing this as a wreath, like somebody is a rewarded something. And it could be this is a horse race or some kind of sports competition or fencing, something like that. Now, this, I'm getting something about also with the ups and downs. This could be a gambling issue um, or that the there's, you know, volatility in, in the market. Like there's ups and downs, ups and downs. And maybe somebody is considering investing overseas or in another place of the world. So this is going to have a lot of different meanings uh, for whom these messages apply. But there, there are major decisions. I think balance and seeing things for the way that they are. I also feel that if you are communicating online or clear across the other side of the world with somebody that you at least are seeing them, you know, you're seeing them uh, like through Skype, you know, the voice matches the face or the face or the, you, you know what I mean, uh, FaceTime something. Um, I feel like that's important. Um, so these are just, like I said, some messages that I'm getting. There's a lot more here, but if you would like a personal reading, I would love to do one for you. You can reach me at moonwatertarot.com. So there's something about stepping or stepping up, needing to take a step, because there's something about footing or feet. It's not just one step at a time. You have to take a step or move in the right direction or a direction that's positive for you. You may have to initiate something in order for it to happen. Okay? All right. Thank you so much for watching, Leo. Have a very beautiful month and take good care of yourself. All right. Bye.